Hello, welcome to Wendell's Guide to Defeating Festergut in ICC 25 as a Hunter. Um, so this is pretty much just a tank and spank fight. A couple things you need to look out for. Uh, first is occasionally he'll ca cast something called Vile Gas on you, and when he does, basically you'll get dazed for a few seconds, so um, just be aware that he'll probably cast that on you towards the start of the fight, so... You can pop all your cooldowns at the start, but just be careful not to like re-pop them all until after the vial gas goes out, or you can just wait until it goes out, and then you can just pop everything and then do the whole chain popping. Um, that's really the only main thing you gotta look out for um, as far as what's gonna happen to you. There's not gonna be a lot of damage going out. Occasionally throw a men pet out to your pet, but other than that, not a whole lot else. The only other main thing you need to worry about though is basically he casts um, an ability on the tank and when it reaches 10 stacks it explodes killing the tank and doing damage to you as well. Uh, it doesn't really do that much damage to you but basically it will kill your pet once it hits 10 stacks you can see it's growing right now like right now it's at 7 stacks so it'll be at 8 in a second. Um, gastric bloat, yeah. So once that hits 10 stacks, you can see it's at 8 now, then your pet will die. So you need to watch that number, and when it hits 9 stacks, kind of like start backing off. And what you're going to do is you want to cast Deterrence and Revive Pet. Um, and basically the entire thing you do there is you literally revive your pet. You can see I cast a turn, so I'm casting revive pet. And then as soon as your pet's revived, you just have it start attacking him again, and then you can just feign death if you have extra aggro or whatever. Um, but that's pretty much it. You, depending on your DPS, you may have to do it a second time. Um... I think my DPS is good enough that I'll actually kill him before I have to do it a second time, but I mean it's not that big a deal, it's just literally you just have to watch the stacks and once your pet dies you need to recognize, hey my pet's dead, and then rev quickly revive your pet because he will do a bit of damage to yourselves if he starts attacking you, so, um, but that makes it extremely easy to kind of cheesy encounter as a hunter. <laughs> I guess most people would probably end up dying or I'm not sure how they would defeat it but since we have a pet we can just be like yeah. So. But that's pretty much it. Otherwise it's pretty much just tank and spank fight. The only other thing is just vile the vile uh, breath or whatever that gets thrown on you. That dazes you. And that's not that big a deal, so. Gas spore, you don't really need to worry about that. Basically all that does is when you get enough stacks on you, it'll basically put a stack on you, and then if you get like three stacks or something, it basically mitigates the damage from when he explodes halfway through the fight or whatever. Okay, so apparently my pet did die this time around. Most of the time when I do this, it doesn't, but I guess since this is my first time. But yeah, so you can see he does do a bit of damage to you if you just let him beat on you for a few seconds. So you do want to hurry up and get your pet revived, but as long as you go ahead and revive your pet, you'll be golden. Just revive your pet, feign death, let your pet get your aggro, and yeah. Just make sure you let your pet get aggro before you feign death, otherwise you could probably reset the boss if you don't. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hope you found this guide helpful, and thanks for watching.